So Nancy Pelosi gets kicked out of a communion and now all of a sudden you have the left losing their mind. It's absolutely incredible. You've got Morning Joe who went off on the church and said that the Catholic Church ought to be happy to have Nancy Pelosi after they gone through all the, the sex scandals and stuff like that. Uh, what? She could have went to a different church, but she decided to stay Catholic. And the Catholic bishops, they ought to be happy. They ought to celebrate Nancy Pelosi for staying with them during their hard times. Now, now that Nancy Pelosi just wants to stand up and say, you know, abortion is cool and abortion is a blessing and all that kind of stuff. Now they want to, you know, you know say that she can't participate in, in the communion. Well, this is long overdue. And they should have excommunicated uh, Nancy Pelosi years ago. Long overdue. You had Whoopi who went off today on The View. She was saying, how dare they? Whatever happened to separation of church and state? <laughs> Are these people stupid? Whoopi Goldberg said that the Catholic bishops were out of place. It's not their job to say who should have communion and who should not have communion. Now, look, I'm not Catholic. And I'm not trying to, you know, criticize anybody's religion. All I'm trying to say is this. If you're the Catholic and, and, and you are going to the Catholic Church, you got to kind of listen to the Pope, right? And to the bishops and, and to the priests. And if you up here talking about, you know, abortion is good and, you know, and it's healthy and it's health care and you're violating the tenets of the church. Okay. That's your choice. That's your freedom. But, you know, the Catholic Church, they have their choice, their freedom, their rules. You can't call yourself a Catholic and then do non-Catholic stuff and say, you know what, buddy? Hey, 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 uh, uh, I'm a I'm a staunch believing Catholic, but I don't believe, you know, I believe in abortion and I believe in sex before marriage and I believe you should take drugs. And, and you can't do that. You can't do that and then still go ahead and be considered a, a practicing member that's what's happening with nancy pelosi you got a couple of priests that have popped off it uh, seems like the catholic church are going to do the same thing that you know liberals do they're going to stick together <laughs> stick together for this one <laughs> i want to see who else is going to get on this list nancy pelosi is long overdue and this is going to be interesting because, of course, we have the Supreme Court that's supposed to be coming out with the decision, uh, Roe v. Wade. Uh, we already know part of it was leaked. We're going to see if the Supreme Court justice is going to stand by their decisions, earlier decisions. We're going to see how many more people are, are going to fall out. But the one big takeaway is this. You can see it as plain as day. The church, religion, God, that's not what the Democrats are all about. The Democrats are all about government. They worship at the altar of government. Their politicians are their priests. These liberals are holding up uh, Nancy Pelosi and making her the equivalent to bishops and popes and stuff. It's, 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 how, it's, it's a religion. Their God is politics and power. And there's, this clash is inevitable. I hope that the church stands its ground. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> oh, and pass the popcorn.